They have got gold just so wrong. All right. Now, Andrew, we had a lot of questions about the Fed being so wrong footed. How do you see this playing out here moving forward? Yeah, Shane, speaking of the Fed, let's just see why the Fed is the only central bank that has got gold so wrong. No one's really drilled into this. Multiple high respected Fed insiders, some of them who I've interviewed here in Life in the Vault episodes over the years, all concur that the Fed does not understand gold. Agreed. In fact, every report we hear, bar none, indicates that the Fed never discusses gold, that it, that it's simply not on their radar. However, recent footprints tell us this is no longer strictly true. And this recent US dollar ground, uh, uh, downgrade that we just experienced just underscores it, really cements it. First and second tier, uh, first tier liquidity provider uh, aside, it, it indicates that following Basel III and SFR conditions turning gold back into a first tier asset class on the 1st of January, and for all the wrong reasons, gold did appear on the Fed's radar for the first time since Nixon ended Bretton Woods' system of fixed exchange rates for gold. Now, it cannot be ignored that for the first time since Bretton Woods was slammed shut 50 years ago, over 50 years ago, that following gold becoming a first tier asset class, gold once again reared its head to compete against all hallowed treasuries. And as we highlighted last episode, during 2022, bonds suffered their worst ever performance since Nixon pulled the dollar, dollar's exchangeability into gold, while simultaneously it's not going unnoticed that central banks, sovereigns and institutionals seeking an alternative safe store of value are diversifying out of US treasuries into competing zero counterparty risk, competing first tier asset class physical gold. So gold as a competing first tier asset class now undoubtedly has the Fed's attention. And this catches them snookered and on the back foot. And given the ballooning level of the US and related global um, bond market de debt, um, it's ultimately telegraphing a future US Treasury default. There is no doubt about that. We are now witnessing a slow but steady move by central banks and sovereigns bleeding their investments into the only first year alternative liquid asset class that has zero counterparty risk, less risk than treasuries. Physical gold and ultimately related silver and further down the road, the food chain is going to be hard commodities, but it starts with gold. The Fed is now recognized as the only buyer of treasuries in any size. And given first tier physical gold directly competes with US Treasury demand, the Fed induced ill conceived paper gold battle continues for again all the wrong reasons. This stepped up, as we say, after Fitch, the Fitch US downgrade. But these official pushbacks against gold are running up against an increasingly divergent, very strong global demand physical gold marketplace. Now, published and on record, central banks from 22 onwards, in anticipation of Basel III and SFRs, um, creating a far too onerous structure to swap and lend out lease gold. Um, it just didn't make sense. Footprints evidence these same central banks, including the Bank of International Settlements, have bought more physical gold than at any time in history. But as we've been drawing attention to, only some of these central bank gold buying inflows are actually visible. Our central bank accumulations of monetary gold just don't need to be reported. And it's these accumulations that by deduction help us to assess that the integrated Sino-Russian Central Bank Alliance have accrued at least four times as much physical gold as the 8,133 tons of treasury gold. Furthermore, there's empirical evidence that the treasury gold is rehypothecated, double owned. Uh, and you only just have to reference the inability to immediately 
fulfill the 300 ton Bundesbank repatriation quest in 2013, alongside the refusal to allow the Bundesbank to inspect their assets. My God, so no audit allowed. I mean, give your head a shake. And as we've been drawing attention to, this leaves the Fed as the sole outlier, the only central bank still capping bellwether gold as it competes against freshly printed Fed controlled dollar and treasury supply. And of course, any asset class or foreign exchange cross that impacts the global desire for treasuries, of course, it has the Fed's attention. And as I say, for all the wrong reasons. And just like they're driving U.S. Treasuries into an ultimate debt-related default, they have got gold just so wrong. However, what we uh, what we see flowing out through the EFP back door, we talked about the exchange for physical. That is the the, diff, the that is the the back door where the COMEX siloed COMEX exchange paper market ex, um, uh, gold can flow into the uh, deliverable. Uh, over-the-counter markets, which obviously most U.S. traders are not able to trade. So um, these, these because they're flowing out through the back door, official gold capping efforts seeking to bolster illusionary demand for the dollar and U.S. treasuries are increasingly constrained to how much inversely sold paper gold can be contained inside this siloed cash settled COMEX exchange. They don't want it to leak out the back door. They don't have it to deliver. So so really, that creates an issue. And we've also been drawing attention to the LBMA fix, how it's contained to just a few siloed LBMA players, hence the relatively low volumes in contrast to much larger glo global bullion movements. Yet in contrast, outside the CME LBMA ring fence, insiders know that this fix is actually used to set prices outside the local London and, and, and to capitalize on it off grid, ultimately tightening supply as these Bretton Woods like fixes, providing the ability, as we say, to alchemize paper gold into physical at the daily, far too cheaply fixed prices, being, which have been diluted, diluted by the COMEX tail wagging the physical dog. What the look, people understand this, this gold, these gold prices do not reflect true supply demand fundamentals. In other words, the gold to dollar uh, denominated asset suppression game has changed and it's being preyed on.